good morning good morning good morning hello uh, my beautiful people uh, welcome to this channel if you are new here i personally want to welcome you i want to say thank you for checking in today i want to talk about the good the beautiful <laughs> the uh, the awesomeness about trucking not just that but also the bad uh, the worst and the ugly about this industry okay so the pros and cons about trucking um and here we are i am sergio i'm the pt voyager and welcome again to this channel please take the time to like this video uh, comment if you have uh, a different po point of view which I, res I respect depending on your experience or depending on what you've heard and then um, welcome for being here so on this one on this video i'm gonna start with the pros okay let's talk about the beauty of trucking before we go raw <laughs> we go raw and tell the the whole truth the ugliness about trucking so as far as the pro i want to start with the money everybody loves money everybody wants the money everybody when they see uh truckers we think money okay so uh, money wise yes as a truck driver you will see the money you will see the type of money that you've never seen before um coming from a nine to five job or coming from uh, uh coming out of high school coming from a place where you were not uh, finance, financially okay you're gonna see the type of money that's gonna make you feel mm, it's worth it being here it's actually okay i'm doing good you'll be able to for sure 100 percent you'll be able to pay for your bills take care of your family if you do a family mother wife partner girlfriend boyfriend children whatsoever uh, finance or bills that you have you will be able to um to be out here as a truck driver and pay for your bills and have some left to do any project or to do anything that you wish you could have done uh, if you had the money so yes that money is there uh secondly i'm going to talk about the independency um mindset as a truck driver you have so much time that uh, it allows you to think about a lot of things it gives you the opportunity to think for yourself to think for other people to think and plan way ahead like to be on top of the game now you're gonna have the time to lay back and think without any disturbance around you and still have the means to do those those, those projects but still but do, do not forget you have to come in here with a game plan if you don't have a game plan um that will be difficult for you to to achieve those goals um the third part the third uh, pro that i want to share with you will be sightseeing the adventure discovering the world if not the u.s okay different state i've seen a lot of people that was born uh in delaware that was born in maryland i'm from the east coast okay that was born in um in new jersey that was born in florida they never left the state that was a born in california there were some friends of mine that they came into the u.s they settled in in california and they never moved out yes trucking will give you that opportunity to travel and see the country and be like wow it's not just about <laughs> my state there's a lot there's a lot going on out there every day i can guarantee you every day is a different day in trucking whether you are local you are regional or otr which is over the road every day in trucking is a new day you gotta be safe all the time you gotta behave as if you no know, you got you have to have that rookie mindset to check double check triple check yourself behind you in front of you all the time to keep it safe okay so yes there the adventure that ad ad adventure um spirit you is that you're gonna have that and it's awesome it's an awesome feeling uh, being able to just go okay just go if you're that type of person who like the the, the like, 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 like the pulse who like to go 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 yes 
trucking will give you that if you are not that type of person you will still gonna go and have the opportunity to be back to your family or to be back to the to your loved ones depending on uh, the company where you are and your your your, your priorities like all your goals okay um i want to talk about the fourth one will be as an introvert you remember i talk about the time that you have to think for yourself yes if you are that type of person who like the quietness who like to be on your own who like to like to uh, to have your plan written down or or, 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 or or prepared and then just execute them not having anybody behind you to to be like have you done it have you done it no if you have if you know what you're supposed to do and you plan very well you don't need nobody to be behind you and micromanage you there are some companies out there they will try to micromanage you but as soon as you get your assignment your load or you know what you're supposed to do nobody will be behind will be behind you have your back and ask you why when how no 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 trucking will give you that leisure to be on your own and worry about anything that you want as an introvert yes you have the opportunity to be in your zone yeah, if you don't want nobody to mess with you nobody's gonna get in, be in there to mess with you and if you're a, an animal lover a dog a cat a, uh, a gecko any any animal that you will that, that, that you would love to have with you um, on the road as a as a as, as a trucking mate depending on, on your company yes you're allowed to have that and just roll i've seen some people who actually live on the road as a truck driver so yes it's doable um the fifth one will be um the uh, being able like like at what age like the age and the qualification to be a truck driver the all uh, the awesomeness about being a truck driver is that there's no age limit to be a truck driver no age limit as long as you can drive safe um you can pass your you, you, you have your cdl your commercial driver license and um you you pass your physical exams you you are good to go cdl physical exam no drugs uh, background check uh, uh, in hand everything everything checking on you are good to go nobody will, will, will mind you becoming a truck driver okay so the from i believe you have to be at least 25 years 21 years old up to whenever you can drive it's all up to you so there's no age limit i would say so to be a truck driver so whether you start early or you start in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s in your 60s it's all up to you if you can do the job then you will get the job just get your cdl look for the company that's the best fit your needs and your, your 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 criteria and then get in yes after the pros let's talk about the cons okay um when you go up the hill you're always going to come down all right that's just nature so when you talk about the plus you want to talk about the minus it's because not it's not meant for everybody i want to start the cons with this it's not meant for everybody trucking is not easy okay um but before i continue i want to say thank you again for being here for watching this video and especially for uh subscribing because i usually do my videos in french and when i can i will do them in english for uh, the americans that they listen to me or the ones that uh, that's that request this type of video so thank you for checking in thank you for liking and thank you for commenting also uh, on this video so the ugly about trucking um safety yes is that type of industry where you see more death okay people will die more in trucking that in than in any other industry all right if um driving a simple car is that dangerous what about a whole truck that pull eighty thousand pounds so you have your life that you put uh, uh, at risk you have other people that you put at risk you have your whole family behind you so trucking is really really dangerous when you don't take it seriously and then uh, and when you don't care about what you are doing so uh, be safe 
all the time worry about you your surrounding your equipment uh, your load everything every day all the time you got to be safe uh, because a lot of people depend on you a lot of companies be, depend on you a lot of uh, you depend on you okay keep it safe safety yes you are at risk of uh, losing your life really quick uh, the second point would be um, family yes family uh, but before family uh, before jumping into family I want to say that your 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 physical your medical uh, your, your mental your mental health okay after safety you will uh, is really demanding 10 hours drive average for the average truck driver uh, not eating very well not exercising properly not uh, always thinking 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 if you are an, 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 an extrovert earlier I talked about the introvert if you're an extrovert would like to be out there would like to talk to people all the time would like to be going and be active this might not be the business for you because trucking will get you to have a lot of time for by yourself a lot of time on your own a lot of time to plan things if you like just to stand up and do things this will be a little bit difficult for you but it's still doable because you have time to discover you have time to shut down you have time to go wherever you want to go and take a 10 hours reset uh three two to three days wherever you want to be in, uh, in the trucking industry and, and enjoy okay so you you can plan yourself even with family okay when i talk about the, the mental the physical uh, the, the the medical like you know the like health issue is also about family which leads me to the third point um if you're if you're a family person it will be really tough for you to be gone for like a day two or three weeks at a time just so you can provide for your family as a trucker when we talk truck we are not talking about uber we're not talking about, we're not talking about a car or a van we talk about days gone we talk about weeks gone we talk about it's a long haul it's not a game again depend on, on the your company of course but usually you are gone as a truck driver and if you're a family oriented person it could be difficult it could be demanding for your family if you don't have a partner that um, role with you or that is patient that understand the type of business that you are into right now with your reasons yes it will be tough okay so uh, think about it before you join or think about it as you are in trucking uh, you wanna you really wanna put it on the table come and communicate with your surroundings uh, the fourth point will be the money just as trucking is good and will give you that type of money that you can plan and do awesome things with it is also it could be a bad thing okay the habit um, imagine when you, you are used to 500 a week as a paycheck and you jump and you jump into a thousand at least uh, a week as a paycheck yes you're gonna have the habit of spending that 500 uh, like your budget will be around the 500 right so the same when you jump into trucking and you are used to seeing that that that, that type of money every week you are, you're gonna adjust your spendings not that's just that's just nature no matter how good in saving you are or how kind of what type of project that you have if you were wearing uh, or if you were eating junk food now you want to get your life a little bit better if you were using some cheap flip phones now you want to get yourself a decent phone or a decent service because you can afford it or because you need something better for your business you will adjust your lifestyle no matter what and as you adjust your lifestyle if you go crazy about it you're gonna get stuck you're gonna get uh like you're gonna feel like you have now to work in order to fulfill that type of lifestyle okay that is where i also put the money as a cons in this video because if you don't know how to manage your money if you don't know how to plan yourself if you don't if your goal are not a priority 
you will find yourself trucking for the rest of your life and you will never achieve nothing because you work you spend you work you spend you work you spend buying big cars buying big phones always upgrading your phone every year that the new phone comes out or having uh, always going on vacations or not working hard enough okay you after a while you get comfortable in, instead of, of, of being out there for a week two weeks or three weeks at a time you just do one week you see good money then you then you shut down you be like you get lazy yes um that will catch up with you because now you have bills now you have credit cards now you have house payment now you have you have uh, a wife you have a, a, a you got kids you got you have people depending on you and that money also they depend on the money if you shut down then that lifestyle that you went up you can't sustain that anymore and it becomes a problem so you want to be careful um uh i don't want to talk about uh like they, they like they've been exposed to uh for this for this space specifically for men being exposed to women out here or just like people say truckers are you know they are they are they, are, they, are, they like to womanize and all that that's not a true saying okay this was just a bonus it's not a true saying is this is the reality you are exposed and you have the opportunity you can if you want to uh have female partners male partners at least for women male partners that you are exposed to that type of lifestyle but it's not for all truckers some some of them are not married some of them don't have no girlfriend no boyfriend and when they are here they do whatever they want you are free to do whatever you want but it's not for all truckers but it's also an ugly thing because that exposes you to diseases that expose you to the things that uh that you don't that that you could that still even if you are not a trucker you will still you know be a uh, uh the the, the w h o r e word okay doesn't matter but in trucking since people see us like that it's not true now it's more personal and then i will say i will say it about myself it's not true totally you can control it you can have fun you can do your fun you can do the things that you want to do but as far as being exposed to that type of uh i would don't, i want to say I, don't, I won't say dirty life lifestyle because yeah, it's your decision but yes um let me know in the comments what has been your experience what you've heard about truck drivers uh, what do you what, what makes you want to join and uh, what is holding you back from joining the industry it's 2023 the best time to join uh trucking to do trucking that will be the subject of my next video probably uh is 2023 the best time to join trucking uh the trucking industry i want to answer that question on my next video until then i want to thank you for staying for sticking on to this this moment watching liking commenting and subscribing to the channel i am sergio the uh, petty voyager and i appreciate you i thank you so much be safe out there keep it together uh, keep it positive only moving forward is the goal thank you until next time peace out